Goku mastered Ultra Instinct from the manga. This is the manga version of it. I've seen a lot of, there's been like requests for like full body Ultra Instinct. I don't really do full bodies on this guys, sorry. It's just, it's the format of YouTube because it's landscape and because I have to use Sharpie for clear lines and all that kind of, I don't have to use Sharpie, but it's, I find it's the best. So it's like half body is the best I can do. Otherwise everything gets real small. So anyway, so I've, I fit in as much of his body as I can. Um, if you Google, uh, Goku Master Launcher Instinct Manga. This image comes up. So if you want to like follow this tutorial for like half the body, I'm going to go down to his waist and then he can do the legs. So I hope this helps. Sorry, I can't do more. It's just the format that I've chosen to do these tutorials in. Might change one day, you know, but I need like pencils and fine liners just to get smaller lines and things. So anyway, let's talk more draw. Landscape page, pencil eraser. Hit pause if we go too fast. So this is Manga Goku, right? So Manga Goku doesn't doesn't have that um, frown in the middle of his forehead that we normally start. Is, you know that W sort of thing. So uh, so we we'll start with his eyebrows, right? So center point of my page is about here. You can start anywhere in the middle, right? So it doesn't really matter if you're left or right because there's lots of room because it's kind of like a vertical pose. So I'll just start anywhere here. So we start with his eyebrows and we'll just do this sort of check, check mark. Going this way. Right, like so. Ba, 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 ba. Got like a couple of markers on the go here. Okay. So like this at the end, then we'll make this thick like that. And then we go skinny down towards his nose. So it goes to there, okay? Same on the other side, right? So starting roughly here. You could do that W if you wanted, but we'll just follow the picture as best we can. Check mark up to here. This goes under hair, so I can't really see where it stops or anything. So I'm gonna guess, so it's like cheek will come up here somewhere. So I'll just go to like here. You can't really see this, but we'll draw it in because it's kind of easier to draw it in and then erase afterwards. And then this goes down skinnier. Boom, to there. Sometimes there are like, hairlines on the end and stuff. Right, so then eyes underneath, so we got a small line, a long line, All right, and then we will join these together. So we go across, this line can be curved or straight, it's kind of up to you. Maybe it's a, it looks like a bit of a thicker line than the rest. Kind of like that, and then we go over to the other side. A long line, box like eyes, and then we go across. And in the manga, he has his eyes are quite big, his irises and pupils and stuff. So we go down around here, touch the bottom, back up to there, and then his pupil. Back up to there, and we'll color this black. Right, like that, we'll do something similar over here. And then half circle. So they don't, you'll see, you'll notice like, they don't have to be exactly the same size. I think his head is like turned away a little bit. So this side might be a little bit smaller than that one. But that's okay. It's like a little bit of a three quarter pose maybe. So then his nose comes down, kind of hooks around, back up like that. And they draw in the shadow on the other side. So you go out here and back up towards the top. So the check marks that are on his cheeks. So you just go like. Like 
like so, and roughly on the other side. That kind of thing. And his mouth real close to his nose. You just go sort of flat across when he's looking real serious. Right, and then we'll just curve it down. Like so. We'll curve it down there. And then there might be like some hatching just underneath his bottom lip. Chin then. Down here, real square sort of chin. Like that. Right. And you'll notice now like his facial features aren't like perfectly straight. Might have a little bit of a head tilt. You could do it straight if you wanted, of course. But just from the image I can see there's like a head tilt here. So we're a little bit diagonal. So then jaw on this side goes up. There. And then it'll go around and go up towards his eyebrow here. I'm gonna stop it there because it goes sort of underneath his hair. This side, so it goes out like so. Right, and then you sort of change direction like underneath the corner of his eye, just here. So slightly three quarter pose, a little bit different on each side. But it's always good to learn how to draw different style faces, not just straightforward. Okay, so this on this side it kind of goes around his cheek, see? And on this one we can see his jawbone here. So this one goes more up, and this one goes out. It's because his head is slightly turned away at an angle. Right, and then here we have his sideburn and the sideburn in Dragon Ball becomes the ear in here but we got like a hair spike here so I'll draw that in this is a little hair spike sticking down and then his ears underneath and then you can add ear lines and things inside there so his hair now right so his hair in the manga is different to the anime uh, it's kind of slick it's kind of different it's like more flowy or something so right so we'll do there's one coming down like the middle so we'll go comes across his eye here like that right more flowy less angles and then this goes back like that and there's a bit of a bump just on top here and there's lots of texture lines as well more than in the anime i would say but we'll just draw the shapes first so more of these flowy sort of hair spikes like so and remember like you can do hair moves like it doesn't have to be exactly like mine this one comes over his cheek there and this will cut off his eyebrow so it'll go like up to there so that's what i was saying that bit of eyebrow is actually you can't see it so you can color over it or erase it. And then a hair spike here. Like that. Right? Now if you want, it's not drawn in, but I think sorry, there's some sideburn lines, but like uh, some frowning sort of line there. And maybe here as well. Right? That's a touch from myself. That's not in the manga. So let's see. Hair spike here. Hair spike going up this way. Oop, went over there, but I can erase it later. And then there's two that stick up the middle. So how far? We go to there. There. And then, so we have this round part of his head here, right? And there's another little spike that sticks up here. And then another one that sticks out this way. It's different to the anime now. This comes up here. And 
And then there's the big one that sticks up the middle. So this could go like off my page. Well, I'll try to fit it as best I can. I'll stop it here. It's actually bigger in the picture, but it's as big as I can go. And then there's another big one sticking out this way. And then one sticking out here. And then I drew that one in already. Okay, so then you can erase these lines and then the lines of the eyes and then you can add texture lines. And texture lines go something like this, right? Just all throughout each one. And you can add kind of as much as you'd like. There's lots in the manga and I will just do it quickly sort of all over. Let's just go for it. All right now, if you want to add more than this, feel free, but that's the most I'm willing to do for now anyway. So as anatomy, right? So this is what, the anatomy is different in the manga as well. So it's pretty cool actually. It's kind of like sleeker, more sort of, Less bodybuilder look, more like calisthenics sort of, you know, parkour sort of body, like sleeker looking thinner. So, and we're looking down, right? This is like a down shot. So he's looking up at us. Imagine we're the camera. So we can see like down perspective, right? So it's slightly different to what we're used to. And his body is turned away as well. So what's useful to do is get sort of the center line for his chest. And I'm going to put that there, right? So this is the center line for his chest muscles, right? And then the top of his collarbones will come out around here. Right, and this one will go this direction. Okay. So you've got this sort of letter T and it's kind of curving here, okay? So always your neck muscles go into the center of your chest muscles, right? They go out from there. So, say one from here goes up that way. And this one goes out here. Okay, so they always go in towards the center. You can feel it if you feel your own collarbones and neck muscles where they connect to the bone. And then this goes up this way. And then it's Adam's apple kind of here somewhere. More neck muscles, kind of stuff, just like this. And then another one, like coming down here. Another little neck muscle here. Okay, so this side of his shoulder is turned towards us. So that means this will be bigger than this, right? So we're in three quarter pose. So this side of his body is going to be like half the size of this size, this side. So this is going to be like double the size of this. Okay. So we'll do his pecs. We'll do his pectoral muscles. So this comes around like so in underneath his armpit, his nipple will be about there. His other one, smaller now, skinnier comes down to there and then goes around. All right, so you can see now, this is about half the size of this because we're in three quarter pose. So that means you can only see three quarters of his body. So if you divided this into thirds, you'd have three. So you go one, two, three, okay? And his nipple would be here. All right, and then you have chest muscle lines there and like here as well All right so this is half the size of this one two so now we'll attempt shoulders so his shoulder be coming down from his hair here and on this side we can see like his trapezius goes down first and then his shoulder comes out around here now see the angle that the shoulders are at? 
and then this this width see that is if you broke it up into thirds so you'll have so here to here once twice three times okay see that's your proportion okay this is half the size of, of this whole area from center of his chest line to shoulder okay and then more shoulder muscle here right so his shoulder muscles are kind of like basketball kind of shapes right so they go they have these lines down to your deltoids and then there's like in the manga they have some extra sort of just hatching line just to show some of the muscle areas there okay and on this side so this will go down to there disappear behind his chest go around like so and maybe some trapezius line just going in that way as well So we can see this arm out in front and this arm behind his body, okay? So we'll do like his body here. So this is like his rib cage and then his waist just there. And then the rib cage muscle sort of area down here. And then his hip kind of sticks out there. And this is gonna bump across because he's got this like ripped and torn sort of thing going on here right so like it's bumpy goes around his waist like that and then this is all ripped and torn around so like you can do this any old way it's all ripped there's like some full lines and things just going down there just a real squiggly line and then his, his waistband belt just underneath and his trousers will go off this way. So then anatomy in here. So again, we follow this sort of line, say for his abs on his chest. See that? So they're curving this way. And this side is skinnier than this side. Half the size. One, two. We'll add some more ab muscle lines. Just the lines on top. Right, six pack drawn in like that. And we could have like just some extra sort of hatching lines just here going into his armpit and stuff. It's a different kind of body now. Now his arms just over here, so bicep just touches that, comes out from the armpit. Your bicep, your your pectoral and your shoulder all like converge inside your armpit, right? So they all connect. And then his triceps at the back and you've got two bumps for the triceps. So one there and then the lower, that's like it joins his elbow there. The forearm then curves out, down, forearm out, down. And then just some more bicep lines, arms lines for the forearm. Another tricep line here. Some hatching lines and stuff like that. Maybe another line for his arm in there. And then the arm on the other side. So can see much less of it now. So it bumps out here. And then down for his forearm and around for his waistband or wristband, should I say. And then his bicep. Down in there. And then like just this little triangle for his forearm line like that then we can see a fist here so it's ripped and torn sort of battle torn scarred kind of wristband so it's all scraggly like so and then a bit of a fist so his fist just comes down this way you can see his index finger coming around and then goes up there just in behind his thumb, 
which goes down that way. You can see like the palm of his hand here, which will join his thumb. Go around there and you've got like a couple more fingers folded over. And then the palm of his hand there. We should, because this is, in, so when you like make a fist, like you can see the inside of this finger. So there is some fold lines in there. Kind of like that, and maybe some like knuckle lines and stuff. And then, of course, optional step like lots of scratches. So, this is like a way of just showing that he's kind of beat up or he's been fighting. Just thin sort of hatching lines. Like that. Okay, but there you go. That is how to draw Goku MUI standing sort of pose. As much of the body as I could fit in from the manga. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.